All right, we are live in Nathan Phillips Square with our coverage continue this morning. Look at how full it is behind us. It's amazing. Here is a face that, you know, needs no introduction, but I'll give you one anyway. TSN's Leo Routon. And amazing, when Leo is on his way up to our set, I hear from the crowd below, hey, Leo, hey, Leo. Does this happen to you everywhere now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely insane. You can't even get a cup of coffee without people just crazy about the Raptors. So this is unbelievable. What a celebration. Unbelievable. You know, you're like Nick Nurse, who we also saw <laughs> giving high fives. Oh, yeah. Well, Nick's, people don't realize, Nick's kind of the man of the people. Right, uh, he, you know, he hangs around, gets on the subway, rides his bike downtown. Uh, he's just a regular guy, and, and it's so great to see him have the success, and, and he appreciates it all. Yeah, and the guys appreciate it all as they were partying in Las Vegas on the weekend, as they should. Hey, you've been covering the Raptors since their very first game in 1995. You were on the floor then. You yeah. were on the floor when that basket dropped, the clock reset to zero for the second time. <laughs> And they won. What did that feel like for you? It's unbelievable because not only is it from the Toronto Raptors standpoint that you watch this franchise go from expansion to a champion, but it's also from somebody that grew up playing basketball in this city, the way the game has grown. And, you know, the NBA coming to Canada took the game from here to here. And you look already, we have more players in the NBA than any other country outside the United States. In a week, in a few days, that number is going to grow again. Mm -hmm. But you look at what this is going to do, think about it, what, over half the country was watching the NBA Finals. It, it, so th this is going to be, you know, basketball expansion 2-0. It's going to be unbelievable, the impact on the game in this country. This will not be the last time we potentially talk about a championship for Canada. No, I, well, you know, we got to give credit to Messiah Ujiri and Bobby Webster with Toronto Raptors. I mean, they, they, they're, they set a winning mentality. And, you know, when they got to 50 wins a few years back, they go, hey, this is our minimum bar. And they just kept raising it and crazy it, raising it. And think about it. You could have easily said, hey, we won 59 games last season. We're good. You know, yeah. hey, so what about, you know, if we didn't get as far as we want? No. He went all in the summer to accomplish this. And he took a lot of heat for that in this city. There were boos for Miss Ayu Jerry when he showed up publicly a couple and times. And around the NBA. I mean, yeah. you let go of a, a coach of the year, Dwayne Casey, after 59 wins. You know, you, you, you move a, a beloved player, DeMar DeRozan. Uh, and then later again, another another longtime Raptor, Jonas Valanciunas, in yep. midseason. And I'll tell you what, even just the coaching move alone, because you can always blame a coach or fire a coach at some point in time. As soon as you do that, now it's on you. The target's on you. So that was a big move and a gutsy move. Really quickly before we go, I want you to update us on the situation with Masai Ujiri, potentially looking at uh, battery charges for him. You were on the floor uh, with this alleged incident between him and his security yeah. guard. What's your take? Well, I didn't actually see what happened, but I can't, I can't number one, see Masai uh, hitting anybody. That's one. And if you think about it, there was Golden State lost. So there wasn't a parade to jump on the floor. It was Raptor people basically trying to get on the floor. And I walked on the floor. My credentials were hardly visible. And here's a, a well-dressed black man in a nice suit with his own security, has his credentials in his hand, and his security's got credentials. So to me, if that's not profiling, I, I don't know what is. And it's a, it's a sad situation. All right, well, that story's on pause today because it is all about the celebration. After this party, you're finally going to go home after 50 yeah, days on I the know. road. <laughs> Get to see my family, my dogs, great. All right, well, I hugged you when you came out because I felt like you deserved one. We're going to